is our lumbar shear stability test. Uh, Kristen and I have already had a chat. She's going to take her ASIS. She's going to lay them across the table. So ASIS are going to be here. Head's going to be here. She's going to hang on to the table. Good. Notice to start, her feet are still on the ground. I'm going to start at approximately L1. I'm going to use a pincer like grip and I'm just going to press in. Any pain? I'm going to switch hands here. Any pain? No. Any pain? No. So let's say we get here and we press posterior to anterior and she says, yes, I have pain. We're going to do the next part of the test. So hanging onto the table, you're going to raise the legs up off the floor. We're going to come back, press in, not come Sorry. back, no worries. Press in again, any pain. This time she tells us no. So relax for a second. The scenario is this. She had pain, right? We're saying L4 with posterior to anterior pressure. She had pain. She raised the legs. Raising the legs is going to really turn on that extensor mechanism. We go back in and we press. She says no pain. That's a positive test, okay? Uh, relax that. That tells us we're going to have to go back in and do some corrective exercise, specifically looking at the extensor group. Now I'll note, uh, today we were using a pincer grip. You're going to see that in your notes. You're also going to see a broad flat contact where the doctor is just pressing in this way and then the patient raises, raise, and the doctor presses again. Good, relax. Um, both are acceptable, both are in the literature. I like the specificity a little bit better, it just makes sense. This is the lumbar shear stability test.